Hey Bikes, I'm Allie and this is your Monday Report. Snowball is this Saturday from 7.30 to 10.30. The cost is $5 a person. ACT prep classes start this Wednesday. The price for each class is $10. Check Schoology for more information. SCCLA is hosting a fundraiser for human trafficking victims. The seminar that raises the most money gets a prize. The deadline is on Wednesday. The Writing Center will be open during lunch. There will be no walk-ins accepted, so make sure to have an appointment. In the library tonight, Dungeons & Dragons Club has their first meeting. It will start at 5 o'clock. Key Club will have a meeting in the library tomorrow morning at 725. The Super Bowl is this Sunday. Aaron went out and got predictions from some of you guys. Let's check it out. The New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams will be facing off this Sunday in the Super Bowl. We went around to see which team you think will win and what do you think the final score will be. I think the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl um, for one reason and one reason only. They are 7-0 and with the head official and I don't think that's going to change. As we saw last week, the refs are on their side and Tom Brady's just not going to be powerful to overcome that. I think the Rams, you know, because they got Greg the leg and that's about it. They, that's all they have. 31-27. 9-8 to eight with a last-minute field goal by uh, Greg the Leg. He gets MVP, too. The Rams. Why? Um, because the Patriots, I, they don't deserve to win because they're cheaters. Well, if the Chiefs can't win, I would rather see the Rams win. I don't know a good football score, so the Rams are just going to blow the Patriots out of the water. 27-21. to 21. All right. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl and why? I'll tell you, Aaron who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. It's going to be the Patriots. Um, and you don't want to know why? Why? I guess you did ask me that. Um, why? It'll be because the Patriots know um, that all you have to do is stop Gurley. You get Goff stuck in that little pocket, and he becomes a worse passer. Uh, Bears 170, Packers zip. The Patriots. The advertisers. From 56 to 32. I don't know. <laughs> I think they, uh, I think they cost about uh, three point five million dollars a piece. The game will be on Sunday, February third, starting at five thirty on CBS. Make sure you watch the game. Now over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon, Viking fans. It was a windy start to the day, officially at the Billard Airport. My clicker will work here. We had a 56 mile per hour wind gust and this wind advisory is gonna continue through 6 p.m. this evening. Probably won't get quite that high again, but could still see gusts to 40 or 45 miles per hour through the remainder of the afternoon. That's gonna put wind chills down into the teens by the time we get out of school. So it's gonna be cold, windy, and it's gonna feel cold as well because of that extra added bite to the air from the wind. Now we have been talking about an even colder air mass toward the middle of the week and this Arctic plunge is going to come in especially Wednesday morning here in Kansas. We're looking at wind chills with the newest data coming in between 0 and negative 10 degrees which luckily isn't quite to the dangerous level. You want it to be closer to negative 15 and negative 20 for dangerous. So that's good news. We'll have to monitor those trends over the next day or so. But for now, let's check out the SVTV seven day forecast. 46 today was our high around midnight. We've since fallen and we're on our way down to 20 for an air temperature. Again, wind chill is colder than that. Then there it comes, one degree for an air temperature Wednesday morning only rebounding to 15 and as a whole you can see that we quickly warm back up how about next weekend highs pushing double nickels now Allie back to you that's all we have for today Vikes remember that one time that we thought I'd only be here for two weeks yeah now it'll be double that see you tomorrow Vikes make sure you dress up as what you want to be in the future